Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video, you already know what I'm about to do. I am starting a new series on my channel where I review teas of various locations and I am titling this series, What's the Tea? This episode of What's the Tea is Quarantine Edition. I'm going to review all of the teas in my household because there is nowhere else for me to go get teas safely right now. We have a wide selection of teas here. The majority of them are green, but uh, you know, there's different flavors. I'm going to rate them and this is going to be incredibly biased because this is my favorite tea in the house. I already know that, but I'm going to judge the rest of them because I feel like it and there's nothing else to do. Without further ado, let's get into episode one of What's the Tea? Quarantine Edition. Okay, the first tea we are going to be reviewing is Bigelow. Green tea with lemon. Okay, this is from Florida. We got it when we went to Disney World. And in the spirit of that, I am using my Disney World mug that I got on that trip where we got this tea. It has green tea, lemon peel, and natural flavor. And it is gluten-free. It smells? It smells like green tea, to be totally honest with you. Given that it is from our Disney trip, I might be kind of biased when I review this tea because I'm like, oh my God, I got it in Florida. It has to be perfect and amazing, even if it tastes like butt. So yeah, let's give it a go here. I gotta be honest, not picking up a lot of this lemon that they're claiming. It almost gives like a rough, like grainy texture to my mouth. Like it feels like, I don't know. It's making the roof of my mouth feel weird. I'm going to give it four Mickey ear hats out of five because of the nostalgic factor. If I were to try this from like a Canadian grocery store, I probably um, wouldn't buy it again. But because it is from Florida, where Disney World is, it gets a four out of five, 80%. Good job, Fakalo family tea blenders. Cheers to you. Our next tea that we are going to review is Stash Lemon Ginger Herbal Tea. Caffeine free. That's always nice. It contains ginger root, lemongrass, natural flavors of lemon and ginger. Seems a little redundant. Hibiscus, citric acid, and safflower. That sounds fancy. I like the packaging very slick. You can tell it's probably gonna be lemony because it's yellow. I really like that. Smells good. Smells like lemon and ginger. The mug that I am presenting this tea in has the entire script of Shrek on it. Courtesy of my gal pal, Nikki. She got me this for Christmas one year. Let's give her a go. Oh, it just smells like cleansing. Mm. Very light. It doesn't feel too intense. There definitely isn't like an overwhelming ginger that like burns your throat that you sometimes get with ginger teas. I'm into it. I would make a tea with this again, actually. It's really good. Almost like a hot lemonade, but in a good way, not like a weird way. Good job, Stash. I like it. This tea gets the When Life Gives You Lemons, make a lemon ginger tea award. Good job. All right, next up we have Tetley Green Tea Blueberry Flavored. A pure green tea blended with natural ingredients. The ingredients are green tea and natural flavors. <laughs> I've actually never tried it. It is being presented in a Ravenclaw mug from the popular series, Harry Potter. You can see it says Ravenclaw across it all around the back. Very large, very in charge. This was a gift to me from my boyfriend's brother. Cheers to him. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that at all. If I wanted something that was blueberry flavored, I would eat a blueberry. This seems like a misguided 
tea formula to me. Ugh, it's making me gag. I know there are a lot of people out here who really like this, all the power to you. I would never put this in my mouth again. I am going to give this one out of 10 blueberries. Not a fan. Sorry, Tetley. Love you a long time, but not this tea. The next tea that's up is this maple green tea from Canada True. It is green tea that's flavored with natural Canadian maple syrup. I don't know if maple tea is like a, an actual thing. That can't be good, can it? It is being served in this don't make me use my mom voice mug. I got this for being the mom of my friends. You know, everyone has a mom friend and yours truly, maple green tea. I just don't know, we'll see. Let's give it a try, shall we? It actually smells really good. It tastes like watered down maple syrup with green tea. You know, not my cup of tea. <laughs> there are some grown people who would really enjoy that tea, I bet. It's not the worst thing I've ever drank in my life. Better than that blueberry tea. I'm gonna give this three out of five maple leaves. A. All right, next we have Dream Chamomile Lemon Herbal Tea, caffeine free, love that. It says, may the dreamy warmth of chamomile blended with hints of fresh lemon bring the sleepiest slumber. This has chamomile, licorice, natural flavor, and natural lemon flavor in it. It is being served in a maid of honor mug that I got from my cousin because I'm her maid of honor. Cheers to her. I'm not like really a chamomile person, but um, maybe it'll taste better in this awesome mug. It's not bad. Like you can taste the licorice and I'm not like a licorice person. This wouldn't be something that I would grab. However, if someone served this to me somewhere, like I would finish it. Like I'm still drinking it. I really like lemony teas and this one you can taste the lemon in. So I like that. It's kind of like a comforting flavor. Good job, Tetley. I am going to give this eight out of 10 bridal bouquets. Not bad. All right, next. This is called Northern Lights Loose Leaf Tea, and it is a green tea. It has green tea, apple cubes, orange peels, fennel seed, flavoring, and calendula petals. It smells very apple-y. It is being served in the cutest little Eeyore mug. And since it is a loose leaf tea, it is in a Mickey Mouse tea diffuser. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I don't like that at all. It's very sweet. I would not be able to get through an entire cup of this. It doesn't really taste like green tea. It tastes like watery apple juice. I am going to give this three Eeyore tails out of six. If I wanted apple juice, I would buy apple juice. I would not drink that tea. Okay, next we have my favorite tea in the house, Starbucks, Emperor's Clouds and Mist Green Tea. This is the best tea ever. I love it so much. It is being served in a animation of Stitch mug from the Disney store in Calgary. My boyfriend got me this when he was at a volleyball tournament out there and I love it. This is going to be amazing. I'm very excited to drink this tea. I already know what it tastes like. Oh, so good. I give this 1 million stitches out of 10. I love it. No better tea out there, in my humble opinion. Okay, next we are going to drink this Cleanse Lemon Balm and Honey with Elderflowers tea by Tetley. It is a herbal tea, it is caffeine free. It is being served in this University of Waterloo alumni mug. It is an uplifting balance of lemon balm, honey, nettle and elderflower that helps cleanse the soul. Girl, that's a big claim. I better have my soul cleansed after this sip. Can't say I feel cleansed, but it's definitely refreshing. I like it a lot. The tea on this is that's pretty good tea. 
It almost feels soothing. Maybe I am having my soul cleansed. Love it. I'm going to give this one two out of three honey pots. Next up for review is this Tetley Pure Green Tea. We have a lot of Tetley green teas in this house. So this is just straight up green tea, no flavoring. It is being served in this mug that has a fox on it and it says, I think you're foxy. I am looking forward to seeing what this tastes like because I've never had this tea before. I hate it. That tastes like urine that has been soaked in dirt. Disgusting. I need something else. This is the Stash Organic Chamomile, a golden cup of soothing organic chamomile flowers. <laughs> it just doesn't sound good. I don't know. Maybe it does to some people. This is being served in my Country Music Hall of Fame mug from Nashville. My parents got it for me the last time they were there. Nice and tall, just like me. That tastes spicy, like it's burning my throat. Does it have ginger in it? No, just organic chamomile flowers. Well, let me be real, chamomile flowers, not my vibe. I don't even wanna take another sip of that. It kind of tastes like someone blended up a dandelion and put it into this. I really don't like it. Next, we have this Tetley green tea with pomegranate. So this is another one of those flavored green teas. I don't know, I have a friend who really, really likes this stuff and apparently it's really hard to come by, so I hope I like it. It's being served in one of my first Disney mugs ever. This is a Stitch mug. It's got these cute little Hawaiian flowers on it. You know, it's just happy. It smells very pomegranate-y. All right, here we go. I can't decide where I, whether I love this or whether I hate this. It kind of tastes just like, like pomegranate juice. I don't know. That's pretty good. I'm going to give that eight out of 10 pomegranate seeds. It's pretty good. Cool. All right, second last tea. This is the Tetley green tea with honey, lemon, and ginseng. It's being served in this classic Starbucks mug. It smells, um, like lemon and honey. Kind of smells like this one, this lemon balm. Let's give it a try. Mmm, I like that one. That one's good. Very good. I really like it. This one just straight up gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Cheers. That one's really good. I'm gonna save that one to drink later. This is the last tea. This is a maple herbal tea. Flavored with natural Canadian maple syrup is from the same brand that did the maple green tea. This one is caffeine free. It is being served in this tea, yes, you will see mug from Chapters. I bought this for myself because I loved it and I love tea. It smells disgusting. It smells like, like maple, but like licorice too. I really don't wanna drink this. Tastes like a maple flavored apple cider. It doesn't taste like tea. You know what? It's not as bad as it smelled. I'm gonna give this one two maple syrups out of six. Not the best thing I've ever had. All right, well that's it. I have officially reviewed all of the teas in my household. I would just like to say that the winner in this bias review is the Starbucks Emperor's Clouds and Mist green tea. I love it. And that's the tea. Thank you for joining me for this episode of What's the Tea? And I will see you guys on the next one.